Hi everyone, today we're going to show you how to change oil in a 2014 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's a V6 model 3.6 liter. Um, what are you going to need? You're going to need an oil drain pan. You're going to need a 15 16 socket to unscrew the filter. It's actually filter housing that's on top of the engine bay. Um, if you don't have it, you can try to use a wrench or adjustable wrench. It is going to be tougher with this, with this though. Then you need, you're going to need a 13 inch, 13 millimeter socket to unscrew the oil pan, a drain plug. You're going to need a flex funnel to pull out the oil, rag, gloves, protect yourself from oil. It's definitely not good for you. You're going to need six quarts of oil. The Jeep takes a 5W20. Uh, I wrote up and pens oil is supposedly a really great tested oil for this car. If I'm wrong, let me know. That's what I've been using. And you're gonna need a oil filter. The oil filter is a cartridge type. Uh, this is a, it actually Mopar brand I found in Walmart. It's a MO-349. And it looks something like this. Make sure before you even start, you have to seal because this has to be replaced as well. I'll show you guys later how. Um, paper towels. You're also going to need a floor jack or you can use your uh, jack that comes with the car which will be a little harder to use. Um, you're going to need that to get under the car to drain the, drain the oil. Um, especially with my car since I have this bumper guard here. So Mr. Cameraman Alex, if you come up here now, we're going to show you guys how to get started. All right, we're gonna pop this super heavy duty cover, which is all plastic these days in cars. Just counterclockwise, this part pops right off. This, just lift, and that's it. Let's just get that out of the way. And this is where your oil filter is. Um, you're gonna need your 15, 16 socket. Loosen it up. All right. Also, remember when you're doing oil change in addition to this, loosen this guy up so you want to have all the pressure relieved. I'm not sure if it matters since the oil filter is on top, but that's the typical um, habit to do. And if you're not sure what oil you're getting, this will tell you right here as well. So pop your hood open, and this is this is your reminder. Reminder. Grab a rag. And here's the old oil filter. This is the seal I was talking about. We're gonna pop this off later when replacing the filter. I'm gonna grab a little screwdriver to pop the seal off the filter. You honestly just pull right off, pops right out. Even though the seal looks in good condition, you wanna replace it anyways. So this you can toss. Give it a little wipe. And the filter. I was telling you guys about. That was my socket wrench. Filter, just pop it right in. I'm gonna throw this back in here, but I'm not gonna tighten it yet until I drain the oil. So now we're gonna get under the car and get the oil drained. Right, we got the car jacked up. If you go all the way back there, you can see the little bolt right here. That's the 13 millimeter bolt that needs to be removed to drain the oil. Our pen is ready. A little tip, in addition to the jack, which I never fully trust, I put the handbrake on in the car, and I also put a little safety jack up here to hold it just in case it fails. Mr. Alex, please film. 
let's go drain some oil. That's why you have gloves for this moment right here. Make sure there's no gunk on this bolt, but it looks pretty clean. Close it back up. Tighten this guy out. And there's torque specs for this. So if you have a torque wrench and you want to look up the manual what the actual torque is, it's always recommended. I just do it just strong enough. I'm not trying to strip the bolt. This is not going to go anywhere. And we're all set down here. Right, we've got the oil drained. Now we're going to fill it back up. So remember, we never tighten the oil filter, so we're going to tight, tighten this guy, guy up all the way. And with this part, you just go until you get resistance. And then you give it a one good quarter turn maybe and that's not going anywhere now let's fill this guy up so the car is going to take six quarts Alex I'm going to need your help because this funnel is actually not good for this <laughs> so I think I picked this up in Walmart for I want to say 19 bucks for the big guy Five in there. One more little guy. Maple syrup. Again. Good for the pancakes. It's a nice noise. Alright. Exciting. Good idea is to have a rag actually under here before you start pouring and if you find them might leak, luckily we, we didn't. But you want to grab it like this now, make sure no oil gets in there. Close this back up. Get your cover back on. There's two little holes that go right over these pegs. That's how you put this back on. And a couple more back there. You want to line it up, it's really going to line up itself. Give it a good tap. Close this up. Start the car up for a minute. Listen, mix the oil up in there and you're all set. Okay, so we're done with the oil change. Don't forget to turn off your parking brake if you turned it on. And one thing we got to do is to reset the reminder light in the actual car. Um, so get in, close the door. And you're not hitting the brake pedal. You're gonna push this to um, run. And car's not gonna go on because you're not hitting the brake. After you do that, the second you do that, you have five seconds to push the gas pedal three times within five seconds. And that should reset the oil reminder. So let's try it. Don't push the pedal, the brake pedal. One, two, three. And now it should be reset. 
So let's turn it off and now we're gonna test it by actually starting the car. So push the brake, start the car. And there you go, 100% oil life. We are all good. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informational for you guys. Um, any questions, comment below. Any videos you wanna see, comment below. Um, please like it, subscribe. We have a lot more coming. Um, and that's it. Alex, you got anything? Yeah check out my ch scary channel oh that's right alice got a, a scary horror movie channel that he's working on so we got a link below check that out too and thank you guys